thank you very much for joining me. I am your host, Mario Baker. Now, we're going to speak about Johnson Clark Harris. What is so specific about Johnson Clark Harris? Why do we need to discuss him? What is the importance? What role does he play? Now, the answer to that is this. Johnson Clark Harris is one of the latest players from the diaspora to be added to the Reggae Boy squad. He will be featured or uh, he will be soon to get his debut for the national team in the upcoming friendlies. Now, the problem is this, is the paper talk? Is the fact? Are people assuming? We have an article with us right at this moment, straight from Johnson Clark Harris's mouth, what his intentions are and what will he had and what and what will happen in regards to him representing Jamaica. No. My big question is, what will Johnson Clark Harris add to this Reggae Boy team? How will he improve us? What particular set of skills does he has to really contribute to this team? Will he take us up another level? Will he move that barrier from that zero range to one, even two, if possible? We're going to get to that details. But if you're here for the first time, just hit the subscribe button. And also that like button. If you don't like the content, I wouldn't advise you to do so. I will tell you, go into the comment section and tell me what you don't like about the program. But if you do, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. For the regular viewers, as you know, you know the shrimps. Hit that like button. We're going to get into details. But first, let's get to the article um, on John Clark Harris and what he's going to add to this team. Let's get into this article. Now, this is what he said. We will now be ready to start for us next season. So we can get back into the championship straight away. This year is, as you guys know, John Scott Arsley plays for Petersburg. Now they got relegated this season. And uh, he's speaking about that relegation um, situation. Now let's continue. We believe in each other here. We look up to each other and we enjoy working under the, the gaffer. Um, that, and, and Cliff, that's the, the assistant and the manager. Um, the standards have shot up since they arrived and things would have been different if they had arrived sooner. So there's confidence in the gaffer. Now, this is the key part where we really need to discuss. This is the part that which, in which he is now confirming that he will play for the Reggae Boys. We finish on the 10th. That is the league season talking about specifically. We finish on the 10th. But I'm not going on holidays. Hmm. Commitment. I have a game for Jamaica to get ready for. Let me repeat. I have a game for Jamaica to get ready for. And there is no way I will start next season the way I started this season. Most importantly, most importantly, I have a game for Jamaica to get ready for. So, that is Johnson Clark Harris himself confirming that he will be getting or will be receiving his debut, his, inter, his first international debut. Uh, I think he played for the England youth team. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I highly doubt it. Anyways, I'll get some more research on that and bring it to you guys. But he will now receive, play, um, he will now receive his first um, senior debut. And I do think that is a big step for him. And let me give you some information. I recently re um, found out that he wanted are at the intentions of playing for Jamaica since 2013. Since 2013. You know what that mean? I do think that the, the JFF are not doing their due diligence in um, aspiring the players that are in the diaspora. We all know that. We all know how um, they move slow on these things. And these are the reason, these are things that happen where we have talent like these um, just not really getting their, their feature that they would like. But anyway, Let's get into the details as to what he will actually offer to the Reggae Boys team. Let's have a look at that. This year, let's start off with the season. This is last no, season before last. I think this season has finished, basically. So this is, a, this is one of his breakout seasons um, in League One. 45 games, he had 31 goals and 3 assists. That is 34 goal contribution in 45 appearances. Now, that is what really was a significant part of the Petersburg team um, basically lifting the title and getting the pro and, and then um, receiving their promotion um, to a championship. It's, it's important. It was a big, big um, part in, their, um, in the club's history. 
major major part in club history and Johnson Clark Harris played, played a big big part in that not only that he was also the one who received the golden boot for league one now we're going to also look at how it played this is here this here is, is heat map I want you guys to have a look right here this here in the center in the center circle see that there is not only the fact that he scored a lot of penalties but he does a lot of work in the central zone but look at this part you can see we right here where he, he, he comes back in the men in the central zone to assist his teammate and and actually being uh, providing that link up play so that's also a key factor in what paul hall wants to do so many will say you can even look at the map and say that he kind of fits in the mold of the type of player that paul hall wants but we're going to look at his stats more ineptly let's have a look at his stats so as you can see his scoring frequency is 126 minutes 126 minutes that's basically a game 1.5 game this was actually in 2020 we're going to get 2021 season um 20, 2020 to 2021 season we're going to get to the details of the most recent season he scored 1.5 goals i'm um, a goal 1.5 every 1.5 game that is quite impressive rc goals per game 0 0.7 almost every game he scores a goal um, shots per game 2.9 that's quite okay uh shots on target 1.3 that is quite high that's more than 50 percent of his shots that he kicks um would have actually lodged on target almost 50 percent now big chances miss 24 whoa that is quite alarming yeah that's quite alarming maybe you can have uh, three big chances missing one game but it's quite alarming that's that, that's i do think that's quite alarming anyways let's look at his his his, his, his uh, ball ball playing capabilities he has three assists he, he averages 35.6 touches per game big chance created 11 that's good as well that's also a, a major major positive it means that he can create um not only score key passes 1.0 per game which is also important his passing stats are not the best as you can see accurate pass per game 55 percent accurate pass in his own half 65 percent so these were actually in his breakout season now we're going to have a look at Let's have a look at the more the most recent season which is this season that has just completed he played a total of 40 games he scored 11 goals so that is a quite that's quite a, a drawback from the season before 11 goals he scored like 30 31 goals so that's basically a huge percentage of goal off his of, of his calendar his, our, his goal scoring um, boot he has he also registered three assists in the same sense now let's also let's let's have a look at how he, he situates himself across the pitch this season now these i like to look at the stats many people don't like stats but <laughs> i do think this the thing that stats plays a huge huge part in football so as you can see his heat map no is not that dense as before um maybe just less game but it's not that um it's not that um suffer I, either i do think that there's some level of in, uh, intensity in that um heat map but let's have a look at his stats um throughout as you can see um goal scoring frequency now move from 126 now to 266 so basically um every goal um as i would be like a goal every other three, every three games now move from a goal per game almost a goal per game to a goal every three games so that's a significant drop off for him um goals per game 0 0.3 as i said every third game um shots per game 1.6 he's still averaging quite similar amount of shots and basically i think do think that this is quite um um maybe cutting off but he's still averaging good amount of shots shots on target 0 0.7 uh, that there as is a major drop off for him big chances miss um 11 ah uh, it's in the, it's it's still in the region i think it's still in the region um, but he has missed less big chances this season but his last couple of games have been really really impressive um touches basically the same amount of touches as per normal 31 um big chances created four so he's still creating chances key passes 0 0.6 and he's still also um making those key passes his passing accuracy um is actually in the same region so these are all factors these are all factors that we can consider in 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 this play. i do think that johnson clark Harris does have quite a lot to, to to add to this regular boy team and i do think that he can be a player um that really really 
maybe in the goal scoring aspect as you know we don't score a lot of goals but he can definitely add something significant in that department i do think that that is something that has been a problem for the entirety of the reggae boys team for a long while now in putting the ball in the back of the net look at the goals that Mikel antonio who finished as one of our leading goal scorers in the world cup qualifiers campaign look at those goals that he scored most of them were individual effort most of those goals were individual effort but under Paul Hall, you can see Paul Hall's system actually create a lot more chances for the striker because we play a, li a little bit more attacking, uh, a, little, a little more prowess. So I do think that um, chances will be created for um, better strikers and better strikers tend to score um, their opportunities. As you can see on the sidebar right here, you can see his transfer records, um, clubs that he has played for, Rottenham United, Coventry, um, Bristol and also Peter, um, Petersburg. So, you can see his track record is he has a good track record and i do think that he can add um goals which is important um in any team adding goals to that team and most definitely i do think that he can add something to this team and as i said the most important thing in, in football is scoring goals and if he can add goals i do think that he is most welcome to the team so welcome official welcome john clark Harris to the reggae boys team and most definitely we are looking forward to see what you can do um in the black green and gold and representing um your nation now truthfully and hopefully more of those players follow your footstep and we'll see how that one goes thank you very much for watching everyone if you like the content please hit that subscribe button and also don't leave without hitting that like button and most definitely um keep on tuning and military guna tv view we're out